Hey everyone, hello and apologies about being on hiatus the last two weeks. I was on holiday without access to a laptop, which is presumably the sort of expression that I imagine the Americans will use to describe Julian Assange's eventual extradition to the US. Holiday without a laptop. On the other hand, it's not as if we missed much, it was mostly another two weeks of procrastination, as Westminster sat around doing nothing much before I arrived home and they finally decided to agree to hold a December election. The Brexit deadlock, October edition, initially saw Boris almost achieve the impossible task, no, not that of a sensible haircut, but that of getting a deal much better than anyone had hoped from for the EU. Then it was, of course, voted out by the MPs, because at this stage they've backed themselves into a corner where they'd only rubber stamp a Brexit deal if it ignored a referendum and committed to full European integration. No matter how sweet the deal Boris was able to get, it was always going to bomb more than the RAF over Dresden. And so then, finally, with Brexit stalemate metaphors running low, the MPs finally decided to toss the dice at an election in December to clear things up, with the outcome almost certainly going to be decided by how many people the Brexit party put up and whether the public vote tactically or not. You know, there's a lot of talk about the Leave vote being split, but frankly, if the MPs are as keen as they are to defy their party lines, is there any Brexit-related difference between a pro-Remain Conservative safely retaining a seat versus being turfed out by the Lib Dems or Labour? In all honesty, I think the main story in this whole shambles has been the fact that 50 or so MPs are stepping down, and many of them got about as much say in the removal from office as JFK did. Oh well, I'm off to unpack now. See you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.